Well, we're happy that the prosecutor ultimately, with respect to the one case, realized that they just didn't have the evidence that they thought they had. Uh, frankly, there may have been a rush to arrest here, um, and as the evidence started to trickle in, uh, they may realize that it wasn't exactly what they thought it was. But at the end of the day, yeah, we're, we're very happy with the, uh, the result on that case. We're also happy with the fact that the other matter, uh, the charge has been reduced significantly from a 15-year felony down to a two-year high court misdemeanor. Um, so all in all, we're pleased with the results today. Is there any discussion now about uh, a plea deal and that this thing resolved once and for all? We haven't had any discussions on that front yet. I'm sure we'll have further discussions about those sorts of things, but nothing at this point in time. I missed, obviously, the, the first response, but much was made of the video, and the prosecutor acknowledged that what the second girl testified didn't quite match up. I mean, how did you see that, that second case? Obviously, you're pleased that it was dismissed. Yeah, we are pleased that, uh, that the allegations with respect to that victim were dismissed. I think they were dismissed in large part because uh, her testimony was just completely inconsistent with what the video showed or did not frankly show. Um, and as a result, the prosecutor realized that the story just wasn't matching up with what the, the video evidence was showing them. What were the charges uh, that, that were brought in that case, the one that was dismissed? Uh, that was a assault with intent to commit sexual penetration and a CSC fourth. Okay, so we have a two year and a 15 year That's in, correct. in that one. So now it's down to... Uh, Three high court misdemeanors, obviously. Yeah, what's left is three counts of CSC four, which are two-year high court misdemeanors. Obviously, what you, you made much uh, in the first day of the hearing a couple of weeks ago of the first girl, her misdemeanor or her demeanor. Um, you pointed out that she was laughing, joking, smiling on video moments after the assault. I'm sure you guys uh, don't intend on taking a plea deal, do you? I mean, you, you feel that, that you feel that these charges should be ultimately dismissed. Well, it's way too early in any case. I mean, I know this thing's been going on for about a month now, but it's yeah. way too early in any case to make a hard-line decision on what you're going to do and what you're not going to do. What I can tell you is that we haven't had any plea negotiations whatsoever with the prosecuting attorney's office, and that's fine. It's their prerogative to either do that or not do that at this stage. And there probably will be some discussions at some point in time in the future, but I have no idea what yeah. those will bear, fruit or otherwise. Well, what are, I guess what's your assertion on that first case that's still outstanding? Well, again, we didn't plead not guilty for no reason. Uh, our assertion is that it didn't happen. Um, and we intend to prove it if we need to, but ultimately the burden's on the prosecuting attorney to prove guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. And we think that there's a lot of issues with respect to whether or not they'll be able to do that. Okay.